Millard County Sheriff Robert Decker always wanted to be in law enforcement. In fact, he was so intrigued by the profession that while in high school, he used to ride along with the highway patrol, the sheriff's deputies, or the Delta Police Department. But that's the kind of commitment it takes to administer the demanding job of county sheriff. As a young boy, I just was always interested in law enforcement. The work just intrigued me. I went to college in, in business and marketing, but then Delta City offered me a job and I left college. It was in the summertime. And, and come down and took a job in 1973 and have been in law enforcement since then. Sheriff Decker begins and ends every day with family. That could mean a local resident stopping by his house for personal advice or having the grandkids over to celebrate a birthday. No matter the issue, for Robert, it's all about helping and supporting his Millard County extended and immediate families. The Office of Sheriff encompasses all law enforcement. The peace and dignity of the county become our responsibility as, as public safety. So we're responsible for, uh, for the cat in the tree or the flood. Unique about the Office of County Sheriff is that they are the only law enforcement officers in Utah elected by the people. In all other cases, law enforcement officials are appointed. And that's significant because county citizens get to choose their sheriff. It's an example of how local county government is the closest level of government to the people. I have several calls and people stopping by my home to talk to the sheriff because they want advice or counsel or direction, whether it be about a kid or a spouse or a, a financial situation that they're in, and they just want to talk privately. But the job of county sheriff has evolved over the years, adding new responsibilities. In addition to keeping the peace, managing ambulance service, and overseeing search and rescue, County sheriffs have been left with a daunting challenge, supervising a growing number of inmates in need of treatment for mental illness. When I was a, a young officer, we could pick someone up off the street that was having, you know, was either a danger to themselves or to society, and, and we could boot slip them and take them up to the, to the state hospital and they would get like a three-day hold there where they could be evaluated. Uh, because of cuts in funding and, and other problems, we can no longer do that. So. The only solution sometimes we have is that they come over to jail. And we're a jail, we're not a mental health facility. How do we handle these people? We don't know. If somebody's in serious mental health distress, uh, it's a long process to even start to get them the right kind of help. Being part of the community is what makes the job rewarding for Sheriff Decker. And maintaining a safe, secure environment for the people of Millard County is his motivation. We have what we call a family tree and it, it's one I planned it even before I was married, but it's where we all gather around. It all takes place around that. Robert Decker, just one of nearly 300 of Utah's elected county government officials, committed to serving the citizens of his county. Happy birthday to you. County government is where the rubber meets the road, uniting local challenges with local solutions created by local people. We're the Utah Association of Counties, the unifying voice of county government. <laughs>